this is my prediction of the Elimination Chamber match. Uh, Pay-per-view going on tonight. It, it's got some good matches on there. First ever Women's Elimination Chamber. So let's just uh, jump into this. <coughs> no, excuse me. Let's start with the Women's Nation Chamber match. The Women's Elimination Chamber match. I am going to go with Curveball and say Mickey James. I try to look at this several ways. Who is going to face Asuka at WrestleMania? Uh, I heard some rumor or heard some YouTubers talk about a three-way or triple threat: Sasha, Bailey, either winning tonight, and then the three of them. I don't see that. I see Sasha versus Bailey at WrestleMania, and then I don't see Asuka facing anybody else other than Mickey James. Uh, Mickey James came back. Before she hit the main roster, she did a NXT pay-per-view, and she lost to Asuka. So, Mickey James should be a transitional champion, and drop the belt at Asuka, to Asuka, uh, to Asuka, at uh, WrestleMania. Now we're going to move into Asuka versus Naya, and... This to me is a given. It's going to be Asuka. Uh, she's going to win. She's going to go into WrestleMania. And she's going to win the championship. And her tie, or her reign is going to protect, be protected. At least until SummerSlam, I think. Or even beyond that. like Maybe until next year's WrestleMania. But I see at least until SummerSlam. So I am going with Asuka to take this one. Now let's talk about Ronda's uh, contract signing. They're making it a big deal, so I am going to agree with most everybody else I've heard on YouTube and say that Shane and Daniel Bryan are going to throw a curve and say that she's already signed with SmackDown. And I see uh, that making Stephanie man mad and having Stephanie versus, uh, let's see, maybe. Maybe Stephanie versus Ronda. I see. And then maybe at uh, SummerSlam, we get Ronda versus Charlotte. We'll get Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. This feud has gone on long enough, and they haven't done anything special with it. So just because of 50 50 booking, I'm going with Matt Hardy. And that's it. <laughs> that's my only reason. Uh, Pre-show match. The uh, club versus the Mistrage. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with the club. It's a pre-show match, so nobody really cares. That, that, that's kind of sad, because the club needs a better push than that. The Raw Tag Team Championships. The Bar versus Titus Worldwide. I'm going with the Bar. I think we could stay with the Bar until they uh, boost the Revival right and have the Bar versus Revival and have the Revival win the Raw Championships. Uh, last but not least, the Men's Chamber match. I looked at this a lot of ways. I'm going to go with Braun Strowman. Everybody's going with Roman Reigns, but I'm going with Braun Strowman. I want to see Cena versus Taker, but if Cena can't do it, then Cena versus Reigns, and then have The Miz, uh, Seth Rollins, Elias, and Finn Balor compete in a fatal four way at WrestleMania for the IC title. That is the only. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that can happen and change around. We can have Roman versus uh, Brock Lesnar, but I don't know. Braun versus Brock Lesnar with Braun finally beating Brock or even, yeah, finally beating Brock. That would be fantastic. Well, that is my predictions. Stay tuned tomorrow for my review. JD, out.